All right, so let's unbox this bad boy up. Be here. There we go. Find the peel. Should just rip it off and all that. Again, here's how it looks like from the front, and it has the label here uh, on top. USB Type C hub and HDD slash SSD enclosure. The side, but okay, the Crazy Lab logo on the other end. And at the back, it shows you what's inside, the visuals and uh, all the ports and all that, which is much appreciated. It also has a specification here, which I read earlier. Now let's open this one up. Okay, so it's pretty easy to open or take this one out, just slide it on the side. So it's all white box right here. Now for the main event, let's take this off. Okay, so I must say it looks almost like the Mac Mini. I have the Mac Mini here. So, and if you put it side by side, it looks pretty much the same. It's just that this one is a bit thinner, I think. All right, we're gonna take this out. Look how thin it is. Let's take this plastic out. And then we're gonna compare this one to my Mac Mini. So this is the Mac Mini. This is how thin it is, if you can see it. It's almost like half or actually two thirds uh, thickness of the Mac mini. So, but I digress, put this away. Let's open what's inside of this one before we get to the, uh, the actual item. So right now, take this off. What's inside the box, what's included is there is a USB type C cable. There's one cable right here, if you can see both cables. Okay, I'm moving right now. Uh, it's black and it's braided actually, it's pretty good. And it has the uh, cable management, which is much appreciated actually. So let's put that away. How long is it? It's not actually long. It's about like, I don't know, three feet or something. Get me, let me get my ruler. Oh, sorry. All right, here's the ruler. So it's, it's about a little over a foot, basically. Put that away, the ruler. And it also has the USB type C, if you can see, and the other end has two USB type A. So, you know, especially if you are having problems or if you have an older Mac, which, or you've used up all your type C, then at least you can still, uh, you still have a type A for the other end or whatever, whichever, which is basically because you only have one USB type C, if you can see it on top. Uh, for data, the other one is for power, and then three USB type A, uh, ports basically. There's the other end, uh, there's a USB type C and there's the five volts of power that you will be putting. Quite curious, cause this one has the uh, computer sign with the USB type C, the other one is for power. And then the other side, it says USB type C 10 gigabytes. So we'll see. I'm really not sure what it is right now, but we'll see. Okay, so coming from here, let's take a look what's inside. Okay, I just dropped some of the screws. Basically, it's a screwdriver, a small screwdriver, and some rubber or something for cushion, and then all screws. How many screws does it have? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven screws, one screwdriver, and two. I'm not sure what these are, but if you can take a look at it, these are this. Okay, that's about it. Let's put it back. I don't want to lose these ones. Okay, put this away. And lastly, it's the instruction manual. Right here, we can see, but I'm gonna put it on the top. There you go. And the front and the back. Basically, it's showing the exterior, the interface, and the front page or page one and two. First time use, safety of use, feature, ins installation, and all of that. Now we're gonna try to open this one up. And let's just put these away. All right, so let's open this up. There's an arrow here, so I assume you could open it up right away. Okay, yes. There's, there are no screws right here. That's probably why you have like about seven screws inside the pouch and all that. Okay, so this is how it looks like. I'm gonna get one of my SSD from my computer and one NVMe so we can, you know, you guys can see how it looks like when I put them in here. So it has the uh, SATA push right here. And then for the N NVMe, it's gonna be slotted here. So that's pretty much it. I'll show you what the ports are. Uh, this is the front right here. There's no on the side. There's a Quizlab logo. I'm not sure if you can see it with my light on. 
And at the back, it has two USB-C type ports, uh, module UH, uh, UH25 Pro, that's the model, and then the Quizlab uh, logo right here. One observation I see is that, unfortunately, although this looks like aluminum, like the uh, Mac Mini, it's, uh, it's more silvery, um, but this is plastic. I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, this is plastic compared to the Mac Mini. I'm not sure if you can hear much of a difference, but you know, the Mac Mini is aluminum, but this one is a uh, plastic. It's not a big deal, to be honest with you. You know, it still looks metal and it looks uh, pretty good, actually. Let me put it a little bit to the back. This is how it's gonna look like. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you in front, how this looks like on top. And they look, I mean, they have the same uh, dimensions with the Mac Mini, which is really, really good because you can put it side. Let me just put it out right here. So it's gonna look like that. I'm gonna put some B-roll so you guys can see, but it's pretty much gonna be looking like that. And then we're gonna set this up. I'm gonna put some SSD and NVMe there and see how much the data transfer for this one. Coming right up. test this out with the black magic um, we're gonna select the drive uh, now let's try the SSD first so it's gonna be the SSD I'm gonna put it you'll, you'll be able to see the uh, screen drive here right now um, open and then start so currently it's the right speed is on Hovering around 620 megabytes per second on average, give or take. Ending up at 617.5. Six, now the read is hovering around 570 on average. 571 basically. And second write speed test. It's going a little higher. 641.3. Now we are gonna try to copy a file and see, you know, real world test. Let's try to, uh, this eight gigabyte file, put it here and downloads. So this one is, uh, I'm taking uh, some of the files or a big file going to the Mac mini from the USB hub. So it took about, I don't know, 10 seconds. That was pretty fast. That is because it's the read speed from the hub to the Mac Mini. Now we are going to do that from the Mac Mini to the USB hub. Okay, it's about 10 seconds. I must say that is pretty fast actually, especially for the Mac Mini to the hub. Granted that, you know, they are SSD and NVMe, but that is pretty, pretty, pretty quick actually. I wonder if we could actually do video editing on the fly. Like we can use this straight up for video editing. I will do that in the future. Uh, not right now, but I'm just like trying to show you guys how it is or how fast it is. And it's really, really fast uh, to be honest with you, surprisingly. Uh, but that is with the USB type C. So we're gonna try it with the uh, USB type A or USB 3.0 and 3.1. Eh, we'll, we'll try both and see how fast it works. I wonder how the, the front uh, works, if they work well or not, especially connecting it from the Mac mini to the, because I, I was having trouble uh, showing up for those drives before, so I'm not sure if it works. So it does show when you put a flash drive in front, it does detect, granted that you need to have the USB-C port from behind or from the back of the USB hub connected to the Mac Mini. So I guess these are all extensions. You, uh, you're not gonna be connecting the Mac Mini 
to the front ports. They will be most likely for extension like flash drives or other devices. So I'm gonna try to connect the mouse to the front instead of directly connecting it from or to the Mac mini and see if it actually works and if there are any lags and all that. The mouse is on, let's see if it works. So it does work. So pretty much this is really good, especially for extension and stuff. You can put all the devices here in the front. I like that. Now we're gonna try to test if the keyboard also works and how, you know, if there are any lag or some. Yep, works pretty well. No, no issues so far. I can go to my channel. All right, no issues so far. All right, so uh, this is pretty good so far. I kind of like it. I will show later on how this looks like, but it pretty much, it looks like it uh, copies files pretty well. No issues so far. You can put all your devices here in front instead of trying to hook it up all the way to the back of your Mac mini. And it has the same dimension. Pretty, pretty good. It looks the same, it blends in. I kind of like it, actually. This one is a very, very good product. Uh, one of the only cons I see is that I was expecting it, or I was hoping it to be like the Mac Mini, which is aluminum, but um, it's plastic. It's not a big deal, it's not a major deal. It looks aluminum, it has the same color as the Mac Mini. It's just that, you know, I was hoping it was aluminum, but it's not, but you can't really, complain much, especially for the price point. This is really, really good. This is one of the better ones that I have uh, tried so far as a uh, USB hub, especially for uh, like, you can use this as the external hard drive for your stuff. You have it for time machine or for video editing. I haven't really tried that. So I'm not, don't take my word for that, but I uh, have high hopes for it. Uh, you can, you may be able to use this as a scratch disc for your video editing maybe a 1080p, 1440p, 4K real time, maybe you might need to use a proxy or uh, an optimized version. I don't really use that on my computer. I edit on pretty much like the raw unrendered <laughs> uh, file, but I digress. I like this so far. Looks pretty, pretty good. I am impressed to be honest with you. That's it for this video. And comment down below what you think about this uh, USB type c hub which is the quiz lab uh, usb type c for mac mini uh, test it's for 2018 and 2020 but i think you can connect this to any other devices apple products or whatsoever but it's really really good this is really intended for mac mini because like as you can see it looks or it blends in with your mac mini which is really really nice so i like it and that's it for this video guys Hope you like this one. Don't forget to smash the like button. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing again. I'm Lars of Killabit Nomad. See you in the next video.